and what it is, what it do. It's your man R O M me. And I got the Mac family with me. Miss Mac here. Baby Mac, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment and share. That's right, that's right. Yeah, so it's been a while since we came to y'all and all we spoke about anything. We all um, basically we we've been reflecting on a few things and just had to take in where we at, you know, and just really take the feel of what we've actually done and what we actually accomplished. But today my wife want to come to you because she want to talk about something that <laughs> just really bugged her out. So um, oh. I'm going to let, I'm, I'm let her handle this here. I was going to say what the she best to last, but okay, yeah, that's yeah, fine. Go ahead and do your um, thing, baby. So, um, you know, well, a lot of you may not know, but we have a vegetarian slash pescatarian diet. So, um, you know, it's a lot of spices here. I'm still getting the feel of things in the grocery store and um, trying to figure out where things are, what they call, what their name, because of course, um, in East Africa, where we at in Tanzania, um, the they are, they have, their language that they mostly use, is mostly used here, is Swahili. So it's a lot of things that are in Swahili and one of your key words for today is Soko Samaki. Yeah. Tell them what Soko Samaki is, baby. Fish market. <laughs> <laughs> now, with that being said, the fish market can be numerous of places. It could be in a little building with, you know, your regular stuff just sitting in there with your meats and your fishes and whatever in a butcher shop. It could be down by the water where the fishermen coming out the water, lay the fish out on the table, and you go around and you pick what you want. Mind now, you, it's not to cut you off, but it's an open market. Open market, just like yes. a big flea market sort of thing. Yes, speak. yes, Something yes. Something like that. So you have all kinds of fish that's in the water, and they're laying out on... <laughs> and they're laying out on the table. You have shrimp, you have all kinds of fish, fish I have never seen before, and you have some that's hidden away that they'll bring out to you. <laughs> uh, so we go and we're looking for some kind of fish to eat, maybe salmon or I don't know, um, red oh, snapper. Who's looking snapper. for red snapper? Well, nobody had no red snapper. And I'm telling you, these are like 10 or more tables with fish laying out and it was no snapper. So the guy says, well, we have local fish. And I could understand him. His, you know, Swahili was very strong, but I understood he kept saying local fish. And he did name what the local fish was. Me thinking, you know, I done seen this in Sam's or Costco's or somewhere. Okay, we could do that. We, we ate that before, I think. So yeah, we did, um, but it wasn't for <laughs> So the guy go get the fish, he leaves and he come back. Y'all, if y'all think I'm lying, the man came back with a barracuda about as tall as my husband. A barracuda, that the joke, whole fish. That joker was long as my leg. Six and I'm, feet. <laughs> that joker was long as my leg, I swear. He come back holding. Holding I was that like, thing, sky high like, <laughs> got barracuda. I was like, we can't fit that in our freezer. <laughs> Trying to play it off like me and my husband look at each other like, we can't fit that in our freezer. <laughs> no, no. That was the funniest moment. Okay, so the other moment is whenever you go into the fish market, and it's laying out like that. Go first thing in the morning because the fishermen here, they fish all night. And then they come in from the ocean and they lay their catch out on the tables. And then that's how they sell their fish. Well, don't go four and five o'clock in the morning. I mean, it's, pardon me, in the afternoon because it's like 85, 90 degrees. Your fish is sitting out there. They pour the water over the fish to keep them cool and stuff. But you know how that goes. And so, you know, I think my fish got me sick. We brought three tunas. We ended up buying three tunas. 
about that big, about that wide. Yeah, wide. And I swear to you, we brought three tonas, the whole fish, for eight dollars and sixty-one cents. Yes. Okay, for the whole three tonas. Yes. Now, I don't know if it was just my mind playing tricks on me because it might have been him fingering my tuna that got me sick because <laughs> he claimed it for us for 50 cent he claimed it for us and he claimed the tuna and he's you know did his little thing and he took his finger and went up in our tuna like that and the guts just come out i was like i think it was him fingering my fish <laughs> But that was an experience, okay? Yes, yes. <laughs> it, it was most definitely an experience because um, when we went, we had traveled down, of course, a lot of the roads, the dirt roads here, over here. So we traveled through a little village area and, and we ended up coming down on the ocean. So when we came down on the ocean, the boats, the, the boats and everything was there. Um, and we was just at all just to be able to see the fish is coming actually off the water bringing in the fish and, mm. and and just the whole process is much different from all um, america when you go in there they already in the fish market laying on laying on ice and everything like that so um it was much different so um when we're looking we just like at all because all the fish we're seeing i mean these jokers yay long about yay thick and so we just like wow so we seen the table that had a little smaller fish but none of them was what we actually wanted or what we you know what we wanted so um we moved on and that's when we started talking to the guy about all um, the other fish he was saying and when he said a barracuda if anybody know about a barracuda them jokers will eat you uh, seriously so we started trying to think about how these how these jokers get this big Big behind Barracuda in the boat with them, but how did they even catch them where they, they can handle them to get them out the water? So that's where my mind was tripping that. So, what did your father say about the Barracudas, babe? My dad, when I told my dad about that bear, he told me a Barracuda, he laughed so hard. He told me they got more teeth than a shark. He told me they'll eat people. <laughs> Well, these are some people that wasn't eating them. <laughs> so we ended up getting the tunas. What did you think about the um, fish market? It, it was um, very interesting, but when he was, when the person was cleaning out the tuna for us, it was like mass. Like it was just. Blood. He fingered it. It was blood, guts. All like up in this one little section. Yes. Like it held it a lot for like. A bit. <laughs> it did, and he cut it in like tuna steaks, and but he he took the gills, which I've never seen anyone at a fish market do. Take the gills and almost pull all the guts out of it from the gills, and then when he chopped it into the steaks, he just fingered my fish, and I just didn't like that. I was like, baby, I don't know if it was his hands or what, but I don't think I feel good with that fish. <laughs> but I do, I must say that it was a genuine experience to, to, to be able to um, experience that and we, y'all. Yeah, yeah, that, that was most definitely an episode. Just go first thing in the morning, we learned that. <laughs> yeah, go first thing in the morning, all. Uh, because we ate the fish, the fish was still good. The fish was good. It had a good flavor, but it kind of left us with an aftertaste. <laughs> I think that was that summer heat. Because it is December here, but it's summer. Yes, it's still summer. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it left us with an aftertaste, and that ain't sit too well with us um, yeah. On, yeah. on the next day, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So, um, the best thing would be to do is, um, get out there early morning when you know they're coming straight in off the boats and then you can get busy do your shopping and, and grab your own fish or whatever your prawns that you need prawns or shrimp i'm quite sure everybody still should know that but um yeah get out there early make sure you won't do your fish shopping early so you won't have to deal with that situation of all um, 
they sitting out all day and you'll know it's straight fresh coming out that water. So anything else you want to add about that fish you want to uh, Any other thing you want to add, add on to what you experience? They had like some squid that Yeah, they did. They did. And my husband said, you know what he said? Come on, baby, they got squid. I said, I don't know what to do with that whole squid. I said, look, bring it to me restaurant style. In the rings, if we're going to do calamari, I can cook that. I can do that. But the whole squid with the eyeballs and the tentacles and all that stuff. No, I don't know what to do with that. You have, to, you have to take the egg out and see. they use the head for the calamari. Like mm. see, see what I'm talking about? Yeah, that, that's See what note. I'm talking about? No. No. Nah. So, um, yeah, they had the, the squid, they had the octopus. Um, man, they just had some of everything. They eating it all over here. So, um, what else is in that ocean? They pretty much on um, making some kind of delicacy up out of that. And if you're doing like a, like say a seafood pasta or something like that. Just they, expect octopus. Expect octopus and squid to be in that, that seafood on um, dish. Whatever seafood it is, octopus is going to be in it. Nah, okay? Nah, Not know. barracuda. Even, <laughs> I know we might be going to eat some barracuda. And not knowing. Cause she been asking me, what kind of fish is it? All I can say is fish. Fish. Like, <laughs> you, you a meat eater, and you say, if you don't name your meat, chicken, beef, whatever it is, it might be bush meat, it might be a monkey. I don't know. I'm just playing, because I don't know that for sure. But bush meat is not chicken or beef. No. I can tell you that. Okay, so we, I, I'm not going there. Thank yeah, God so for Chef Ricardo. Yes, that yes. Woo, woo. Yes, we met Chef Ricardo. And, yes, we did. Yeah, we've been going in on this food for the past two days. Boy, so, oh boy. Yeah, for, what, two today? Make the third day we yes, are I ordering know. something from it. Yes, yeah, yes. So, yeah. And we got to order our food and stuff now. Yes. Matter of fact, done did. So we waiting for our driver now to come pick us up so we can yes. go get our food on. Mm. And my baby here, she done met a couple of new friends. You want to yep. speak about your friends then? Got some friends. Uh, oh. What happened on Christmas Day? Because it was Christmas yesterday. By the way, I'm sorry for cutting you off. Merry Christmas yes, to yes. everybody. Yes. Um, to all our family. And Jerry, girl, you keep it real, girl. Thank you for your donation, okay? Um, we don't ask people for any donation or anything, but we do thank the ones that do give, you know, something. So we yes. appreciate that. Yes, yes. We so, appreciate that. Okay, so go ahead and finish about your friends because you was excited to meet you some friends. Um, um, yesterday, so yesterday, as you all know, it was Christmas. And so yesterday we went to the water park. Um, it was we went to a water park yesterday, and and um I was up there on the slide to get on, but I was gonna wait my turn. But this boy has said, "Lady first, because that's the thing over here. Like ladies go first. Before very I'm nice, there. very gentle." Mm -hmm. Even he saw us and he was like, Mumbo. Yes, yes. He, he was very respectful. Um, every time he see me, hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. Mm -hmm. you, you know, he, he knew Swahili. They learned Swahili and um, English. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. English. He knew English. Um, they teach him in primary school. So um, he knew a bit of English. So he was able to um, greet us and, you know, and speak with, you know, baby Mac here. So, um, mm -hmm. go ahead and finish your story, darling. And, um, so basically we just hung out for the rest of the time and just, like, went on the water slides and played hide and seek and stuff like that. And I also met, met this girl named Destiny. We're not friends yet, but I'm to hit it up. Yeah, I 
started off pretty good. So video. you actually are friends because you did meet, you talk, you wanted to steal a dog and stuff like that. But they only mm -hmm. met once. Yes. Was the best thing I think is to say is they only met once and her mom invited her over to the pool and just to hang out anytime with her. So and I also befriended our driver. Yes. Yes. Our, our driver has been a blessing in this in yes. itself, you know. We like been, a, adopted it, him almost like Yeah, we, we pretty much adopted him um he he truly has become my Rafiki, my, my Kaka. Tell them said. what what tell them what Rafiki means. Good, how you doing? No. No. Alright. Yes. Same to you. Merry Christmas. Someone is walking. Happy New Year. Someone is walking on the beach. They're looking for someone who lost their dog and they yelled up, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Oh, well, my husband yelled that back too. But, but they're looking for someone who lost their dog. Nice looking dog though. Um, but anyways, um, tell them the name of the water park. Tell them the name of the water park you went to because you just said a water park. Wonder Waters or Water World. I don't know. Water World. So it's another one here in East Africa and it's supposed to be the largest water park in, in Africa. I We're going to check that one out. And it's called the Kanduchi Water Park. We decided not to go with that one yesterday, but of course, you know. Uh, we're going to hit them all, but it was so packed. My husband going to have to show there a clip. There was nowhere to sit. Nowhere. I had to stand the whole time. I didn't like that, but she enjoyed herself, and that's what it was about. Mm. Yeah, so Christmas Day, um, the beaches is like packed. packed. Like the 4th of July. Yes, so uh, matter of fact, yes, like the 4th of July. <laughs> Um, when spring coming in or in summer coming in in America, beaches are flooded, packed. Labor Day, same thing. It, it, it's super packed. We actually couldn't believe it. Yeah, we it, couldn't. Yes, because there was so many people, and and the strip was just jam packed. Yes. Uh, you know, so uh, we just wanted to come to y'all and let y'all know everything was good, everything is all right. My wife wanted to share a story about the fish market, you know, and um. Soko Samaki. Soko Samaki. Soko Samaki. And uh, my baby wanted to share a little little clip of what's going on with her. But um, we're not going to make this long. We're just going to get back to y'all at another one. Um, everybody enjoy y'all Christmas, New Year's, peace. You seek a winner. You seek a winner. Love and respect. Peace, family. Peace. Peace.